Hi, in this video you are going to learn about the improved and new capabilities that come with the reinvented classifications management in Zeitfinity. We will cover create, update, delete of categories and tags, bulk edit, improved filtering and sorting capabilities, reorder dialog for categories and hierarchical classifications, move and merge operations, quick navigation, and classifications management in a multi-site project. Let's start. To go to classifications, you need to expand content menu and click all classifications. Here you will see that all the existing features from the old UI are present. We can easily create a tag, find it, we can delete it, or we can edit an existing one. On top of the previously existing features, there are a lot new. Let's say I want to make all the categories starting with C with lowercase letter. To do that, I can open filters and here I find a new filter for filtering items by their first letter. I can see that I have four items starting with C and when I click the filter, the grid is filtered. Now, one option is to go item by item and edit their title, but I can also select them all and click properties. This will open a book edit dialog where, can, where I can easily edit all the items I desire. I save changes and as you can see, the changes are applied to all of them at once. What would I do if I want to delete all unused tags? As you can see, the apply to column is showing how many items are using the used tag. But if I want to delete all of them, I have to go through the grid, find all the items with the zero and delete them. As you can imagine, this might be quite a long list. To help me with this task, there is a new sorting option in the new UI. Sorting by least used. As you can see, all the items without usage came to the top and I can easily delete them. I can also use the reverse sort the items by most used to see which of my tags are applied to most of items. Here I see jobs and careers being used by two items each. But jobs and careers sounds kinda similar. I'd like, like to have just one of them. To do that, I would have to go let's say in these two items, remove jobs tag there and set careers tag. With the new UI, there's an easier way. I can just select them and click merge. When I click careers and click merge, what will this will do is it will take all items using jobs tag and assign careers tag to them and at the end of the operation, the job stack will be deleted. As you can see, there is a progress bar on top of the grid telling us what is being done at the moment. When the operation completes, the grid will refresh itself and the job stack is deleted. What's more, the career stack is now being used by all four items. Now, I want to show you something in categories. And to get there, I would have to click all classifications and then navigate to categories. But with the new UI, there is another way. I can open this sidebar, which enables me to quickly navigate between all the classifications I have in the system. By clicking categories, I get to the screen really fast. The category screen is different from the tags in the sense that it is hierarchical, 
items here can have children. What's more, items in this grid I are ordered. If I want to reorder them, I can use the new operation reorder. Let's say I want to have designed this for development. What more I can do on this dialog is that I can change the parent of an item. Let's say I want marketing queries to be a subcategory of marketing category. I can just drag and drop marketing queries on top of marketing and voila, it's now child of marketing. With hierarchical categories, we cannot have the merge operation since deleting the source category will result in deleting all its children. What would I do if I want to move these two items from marketing UIs to marketing and stop using marketing UIs? There is pretty similar operation to merge called move items to another category. I can select to move all items from marketing UIs to marketing and you will see a similar progress bar coming on top of the grid. The difference here is once the grid refreshes, the marketing QS category will still be present on our grid, but all its items are now using marketing. If I want to, I can easily delete marketing QS and I will achieve the same result as with merge. The last thing I'd like to show you is how can you take advantage of classifications in a multi-site environment. By default, all the classifications are shared among all sites. In this project, I have four sites and these categories are, for instance, being used by all four of them. So if I switch a site, I see the same categories here. What can I do if I want to use a different set? It's very easy to do it through actions, usage on sites, and here I can select to share this category with all other sites or to use a different one for this site only. I am presented with the option to duplicate the existing categories or start from scratch. I'm going to start from scratch. Now, as you can see, in this side I have no categories and it's this side specific. If I switch back to our original site, we'll see that categories is now being used by only the three remaining sites. You are now fully equipped to take advantage of the new capabilities of the classification management in Safinity. If you haven't tried them out yet, please do and we'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you.